How about those people in Kilauea, Hawaii, who build their homes right next to an active volcano and then wonder why they have lava in the living room? <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And this is Two Neighbors. So Adam, what are we watching today? <sighs> George. George frickin' Carlin. Very excited. Very excited about George Carlin, because, I mean, George Carlin, everyone loves this fucking guy. Like, I mean, he's a legend. What's not there, to like? The, what's not to like? We want to watch everything that he's done, because, like, I mean, there's, there's no more of it being made, so we want to make sure we see it all and really absorb George Carlin. So we are doing George Carlin today. And what's it called? Saving the planet, George Carlin saving the planet, and literally every day I watch the news and something comes on and I'm like, man, I wish Carlin was alive because he would have a field day with what's going on do in you, the world today, wouldn't do, he? Do you think he's gonna be like pro save the planet or he's like oh, all a bunch of idiots? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the latter right now, probably. <laughs> Knowing Carlin, I'm gonna go with the latter, but right. uh, we shall see. So George Carlin saving, saving the planet. planet. See, I'm not one of these people who's worried about everything. You got people like this around you, the country's full of them now. People walking around all day long, every minute of the day, worried about everything. Worried about the air, worried about the water, worried about the soil. Worried about insecticides, pesticides, food additives, carcinogens. Worried about radon gas, worried about asbestos. Worried about saving endangered species. Let me tell you about endangered species, all right? Saving endangered species is just one more arrogant attempt by humans to control nature. It's arrogant meddling. It's what got us in trouble in the first place. Doesn't anybody understand that? Interfering with nature. Over 90%, over, way over, 90% of all the species that have ever lived on this planet, ever lived, are gone. Whee! Definitely They're going extinct. with the <laughs> We didn't kill them all. <laughs> they just disappeared. That's what nature does. They disappear these days at the rate of 25 a day. And I mean regardless of our, our behavior. Irrespective of how we act on this planet, 25 species that were here today will be gone tomorrow. Let them go gracefully. <laughs> Leave nature alone. Haven't we done enough? We're so self-important. So self-important. Everybody's going to save something now. Save the trees, save the bees, save the whales, save those snails. <laughs> and the greatest arrogance of all, save the planet. What? Are these fucking people kidding me? <laughs> save the planet? We don't even know how to take care of ourselves yet. We haven't learned how to care for one another. We're going to save the fucking planet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting tired of that shit. I'm getting tired of that shit. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm tired of fucking Earth Day. I'm tired of these self-righteous environmentalists, these white bourgeois liberals who think the only thing wrong with this country is there aren't enough bicycle paths. People trying to make the world safe for their Volvos. Besides, environmentalists don't give a shit about the planet. They don't care about the planet. Not in the abstract, they don't. Not in the abstract, they don't. You know what they're interested in? A clean place to live. Their own habitat. They're worried that someday in the future they might be personally inconvenienced. Narrow, unenlightened self-interest doesn't impress me. Besides, there is nothing wrong with the planet. Nothing wrong with the planet. The planet is fine. The people are fucked. <laughs> Difference. Difference. The planet is fine. Compared to the people, the planet is doing great. It's been here four and a half billion years. Do you ever think about the arithmetic? planet has been here four and a half billion years. We've been here, what, 100,000? Maybe 200,000? And we've only been engaged in heavy industry for a little over 200 years. 200 years versus four and a half billion. And we have the conceit to think that somehow we're a threat? That somehow we're going to put in jeopardy this beautiful little blue-green ball that's just a floating around the sun? The planet has been through a lot worse than us. Been through all kinds of things worse than us. Been through earthquakes, volcanoes, plate tectonics, continental drift, solar flares, sunspots, magnetic storms, the magnetic reversal of the poles, hundreds of thousands of years of bombardment by comets and asteroids and meteors, worldwide floods, tidal waves, worldwide fires, erosion, cosmic rays, recurring ice ages, and we think some plastic bags <laughs> and some aluminum cans are going to make a difference. <laughs> Plastic bags. Five cents, please. <laughs>
the planet isn't going anywhere. We are. <laughs> We're going away. Pack your shit, folks. We're going away. And we won't leave much of a trace either. Thank God for that. Maybe a little styrofoam. Maybe. A little styrofoam. Planet will be here and we'll be long gone. Just another failed mutation. Just another closed end biological mistake. An evolutionary cul de sac. The planet will shake us off like a bad case of fleas. <laughs> a surface nuisance. <laughs> you want to know how the planet's doing? Ask those people at Pompeii who are frozen into position. <laughs> from volcanic ash. How the planet's doing. Want to know if the planet's all right? Ask those people in Mexico City or Armenia or a hundred other places buried under thousands of tons of earthquake rubble if they feel like a threat to the planet this week. How about those people in Kilauea, Hawaii, who build their homes right next to an active volcano and then wonder why they have lava in the living room? <laughs> <laughs> the planet will be here for a long, long, long time after we're gone, and it will heal itself, it will cleanse itself, because that's what it does. It's a self-correcting system. The air and the water will recover, the earth will be renewed, and if it's true that plastic is not degradable, well, the planet will simply incorporate plastic into a new paradigm, the earth plus plastic. <laughs> the earth doesn't share our prejudice towards plastic. Plastic came out of the earth. The earth probably sees plastic as just another one of its children. <laughs> it could be the only reason the earth allowed us to be spawned from it in the first place. It wanted plastic for itself. <laughs> Didn't know how to make it. It us. Could be the answer to our age-old philosophical question, why are we here? <laughs> plastic. Earth, <laughs> <laughs> give me plastic. <laughs> The plastic is here, our job is done, we can be phased out now. And I think that's really started already, don't you? I mean, to be fair, the planet probably sees us as a mild threat, something to be dealt with, and I'm sure the planet will defend itself in, in, in the uh, manner of a large organism, like a beehive or an ant colony can muster a defense. I'm sure the planet will think of something. What would you do if you were the planet trying to defend against this pesky, troublesome species? Let's see, what might, hmm, viruses. Viruses might be good. They seem vulnerable to viruses. And uh, viruses are tricky, always mutating and forming new strains whenever a vaccine is developed. Perhaps this first virus could be one that, that compromises the immune system of these creatures, perhaps a human immunodeficiency virus making them vulnerable to all sorts of other diseases and infections that might come along. And maybe it could be spread sexually, making them a little reluctant to engage in the act of reproduction. Well, that's a poetic note. And it's a start. And I can dream, can I? See, I don't worry about the little things. Bees, trees, whales, snails. I think we're part of a greater wisdom than we will ever understand. A higher order. Call it what you want. You know what I call it? The big electron. The big electron. Whoa. 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 It doesn't punish. It doesn't, it doesn't judge at all. It just is. And so are we. For a little while. Thanks for being here with me for a little while tonight. George. He, like... Timeless, man. Just made me feel so small. Yeah. Thank you. Like that we have no purpose. I went into that being like, oh, I'm totally like, you know, pro. I'm a, I'm a pro save the environment. Like, you know, bring my bags to the grocery store. Like, I am I still that think guy. You pet me? Yeah. I yeah, totally. Me. But like, just like him putting it into that perspective of like the bigger picture of like, the world goes on whether we do or not. Yeah. Like we're nothing to evolution. And that that's I think like he made me be on his side for that whole thing. I'm like, wow. Any any like environment, you introduce something like foreign into that environment, and like nature has a way of like weeding it out. And it's yep. no different like humans, like the more damage that we do to this planet, I'm not gonna get into global warming, but the more damage you do to the planet. The more the planet will do to defend itself, and that—that's a reality. That's any ecosystem. You look at the smallest ecosystem on Earth. 
So again, like I mean, we're just speeding up the uh, Earth to get yeah. angry. That's but he, really I it. mean, he brought up a good point. The the reality is, like he talks about humans being around 100,000, 200,000 years. We've only had the ability to mass pollute this planet for maybe 120 years. Yeah. He said 200, but I say 120 yeah. years. Go back to like turn of the 1900 industrial revolution. Industrial That's when we revolution, yep. we kick shit into high gear big time, and we're like, let's literally destroy this planet, like profit over anything. And like, yep. hey, I'm all for like capitalism and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, at a certain point, we have to be like, okay, you know what? Like we lit our house on fire. Someone's got to put this fire out because yep. it, it is like, I mean, you know, and that's, I, it is what he's talking about in essence. He's saying like, the planet will be fine. Yep. No worries, the planet's yes. going to be fine. Yep. It's us that we got to worry about. Yep. So I mean, George Carlin, always ahead of his time, Puts it, yeah, puts it into a different perspective. But how funny was that when, like, he started talking about viruses? Again, relevant like, today, the, right? The, like, the Earth be like, hmm, viruses. Yeah, viruses. It's like I don't know. They mutate. They generate. We so should, there's a vaccine. We should like uh, put like. His I just new love name. when he talks like that. <laughs> his new name should be George Nostradamus Carlin because he literally predicts the future in every single video. He that does. He does. Yeah. So, but anyways, guys, loving doing Carlin. If you have one we haven't seen yet. A lost Carlin. Leave a link down below, guys, and we'll definitely check it out because you guys know we love Carlin. Yeah, and don't forget to hashtag it my request. Yes. Uh, with the link down below. And um, yeah, thanks, Carlin. We miss you and we appreciate you. Here's to you. Cheers to Carlin. All right, guys. So if you haven't done it yet, hit the like button. Share the video with your friends. Share it on Facebook. Share it wherever. Yeah, share it everywhere. Share it Please. everywhere. <laughs> All around the world. <laughs> we appreciate it every day, guys. Yeah. The support has been fantastic. Please keep leaving comments down below. And we will do your videos soon. See you next time. Later, guys.